on. Hope you're having a good Monday. We are, I'm pretty sure. Um, Jeff's experimenting in the background, so you may hear him uh, be Monday. exacerbated by... Exacerbated? Exacerbated. Flustered. Oh, no. Frustrated. It would be more like, oh my gosh. <gasps> oh. Oh, uh, exacerbated and flustered in that it's not working. Ah. Because you're experimenting. You also may hear Canvas running around with different toys because... She knows I'm live, therefore she's gonna be extra. She's gonna bite on <laughs> everything. Oh yeah, right. She probably will. Give me that. So I don't know if you guys have seen um, the bubble technique going around. Eclectic Palette Studio, Carrie Ward. What's up? How's Alan doing? Um, so this is a thing right now, the bubble technique, and I wanted to show you guys how to do it. Um, I did not invent this, but I am working on some things to make it a Maya style. Also, does this make anyone else want a piece of cheese? Just me? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, this is the Too Faced Grumpy Chameleon that we have on our website. Hey, miss, I'm watching you. I think that one's full. Yeah. Don't play with that. Um, and this is some glitter flake. I just want to give you guys a little bit of a view of what we're going to do before we get into it. Aren't those so fun? What's up, Sue? How's things in Australia in the future? I also started playing around with um, different shapes. Fun fact, really hard to get this stuff to go in the shape that you want it to and then also stay there. But super fun technique nonetheless. I tried also writing with it. <laughs> not my best lettering, also not my worst. Okay, according to Captain Lettering, it wasn't my worst. <laughs> mm, I didn't even know you were listening. Crazy. Mm-hmm. So, um, most of the time, uh, from what I've seen, people are doing... Thank you, Tara. Most of the time, what I've seen people doing is using molds like this one... And so I'm gonna show you how to do it with this, and then I'll show you how to do it without using so much resin. Because anytime you fill a mold with resin, it takes a lot of resin. All right, so for this, I'm gonna be using a UV resin. Um, to my knowledge, any brand of UV resin will do. And this is super easy technique, and I think that it just gives such cool results that I wanted to show you guys. So essentially all I'm doing is putting little dots in this silicone mold. And then what I'm going to do is let the UV resin cure up for, it typically takes like five minutes. In there, somewhere in there for a UV resin to cure when under UV or in just natural sunlight. Um, I have a UV light, but it's not the strongest. And it's very cloudy day here in the Dallas, so we'll see how quickly these cure. But five minutes isn't that long to wait anyways. And you don't want it to be fully cured anyways. You want to have a little bit of tack left so it holds on to the, um, the micas that you dust onto them. 
I always also, always, I just, I've only done these ones that I just showed you, but I like to take a little bit of the resin out of the dots with a something, anything. I'm using just a coffee stirrer. I'm putting smaller dots because I think when you vary the sizes of anything that you work with, you get a more realistic or, I don't know, maybe realistic is the only word I'm searching for with that. It's kind of like when I use transparent colors to do marble pieces. I think that it's important to, so I'm trying to talk to you guys while I'm doing something and then in addition, Jeff is kind of rapping a little bit, saying some words in the background. <laughs> and also Bowie is telling me all about it in there. There's a whole lot going on behind me. So if I'm not as proficient with my words as usual, not that I really am ever really good with words, um, now you know why. Cool. There's a pet hair in there, but we have a disclaimer where if you buy any of my artwork, you probably have some animal or me hair in your piece. So bonus. Right. So now I have a whole bunch of little dots. And so the next thing is take a UV light. And this will take about five minutes with a UV light. Susan, you have a trip to Texas coming soonish? That would be awesome. The style with drips, I see that. Yeah, you can, Nancy. That is a great um, tip is that you can put your UV resin in a needle. I'm just going to set this over here in the sun question mark and just let it do its thing and we can move on because that was going to be super boring. <laughs> Bowie. So I have some of my clear shapes. I have apparently two dragons. And I'm going to use these to do some things. I don't even know what I'm really doing, but we're going to do it together. Um, B, Tara says hi. Uh, can you use regular resin versus UV? You can. It just takes longer for the uh, regular resin to set up. So it would just take longer to do, but absolutely you can use regular resin. Okay, I will do a butterfly as well. But for some reason, I can't see you guys on my YouTubes. Also, I think Tudor just got here. So I can't see what you guys are saying. My this is rebooting. He is. I think he's on the phone though. So until my until my that comes back on. Oh my goodness. He's on the phone. Oh, I didn't know that. I told you that. I'm on my phone. Okay. So let me turn my that back on so I can see what you guys are saying. Maybe. There it goes. I think I haven't done this before, so I think I'm going to try to do this. If I had a needle tipped um, bottle, I would, I would be using that, but I don't have one right now. So I'm just using this coffee stirrer. Stirrer.
to just stretch this line all the way down the piece and make a ring. What you got going on there? I'm trying to figure out why I can't pull this stuff up. So I'm doing, hopefully, a geoid. What about skewer? You could use a skewer. Honestly, it'd be about the same as, oh, sorry. I don't know you guys are out of frame. You could use a skewer. I'm just using like the corner of this uh, coffee stirrer. You can also use those like, I can't remember what that stuff was called that I was using with the Oaklawn, but it comes in a very fine point. What was that stuff called? Wasn't it by PBO, PBO? Mm, I'll never know how to say that. But I think it was by them. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it came back up like just now. That's not yours. Come here. Hey. Thank you. That's not yours. That's our girl. I'm going to do just one more ring on this one. And then we will go on to the next one. The thing I like about this kind of look is that it's pretty versatile as long as you are okay nope. with nope. the fact that <laughs> no, you so close. Where did she bring oh. that from? It, she got it. Hey. Uh, most everybody that does this technique is in a mold. I haven't seen anyone do it on something clear like this. So maybe I'm already doing this my way. But I think, I feel like there's something even more my way that I could figure out how to do. Yeah, the outliner pen. I think I'm going to do some dots in here. Because dots are very on brand for me. Um, when, when working with um, a UV resin like this, know that it, it's a lot like um, water in that if you get the dots too close together, they will just go ahead and join each other. No problem. Need to make that big dot make sense. Over there. Also, kind of take your time when you come up from putting your dot down so that you don't get those little trails. You could also use hot glue for this if you wanted to, but I think it's harder to control what hot glue does than a UV resin. I could be wrong, but in my opinion and experience, hot glue also has a mind of its own. All right, we got to make these bigger dots, I think. What's up, two? I'm going to set this in the sun. All right. I think it's going to look pretty cool, too. What's up, Donna? Oh, you're in Perth today? I'm going to go to Perth. I want to do something fun. So what should I do on this one? A shape or just dots? Ooh, actually, I already know what I'm going to do. You guys can tell me what to do on the next one. I'm going to try to do something. I'm not sure if I want to take it to, like, a tortoise shell or, like, a giraffe. Ooh, I bet I could do, like, a cheetah print.
Every time she picks up that toy, I think she has something she's not supposed to. Because it crinkles. Do drips. Okie dokie. Oh my goodness. I immediately have regretted this decision because tortoise shell shape is very hexagonal. Okay. Abort mission. We're doing we're doing blobs and drops on this one. Cause waste not. This is kind of what I did when I was trying to do the hearts. What is Sana? What? Oh, the brand? I have no idea. Ask Jeff if he has seen the massive Posca mopper pins. They look like bingo dauber size. Oh, the Posca, they're, they're called mops. They're graffiti. They're like probably inspired by graffiti mops. Which is a pen that you just put back, tag the name. I think he has a couple of those mops somewhere around here. Uh, I don't have any of those. They'd be awesome for his graffiti style lips. Yeah. Maybe we should get him some. They did look like splashes in them. All right, we're doing drips. Let's do drips. If you're new here, hi, welcome. I'm Erica of Artists Till Death. We go live most every weekday, except for on Tuesdays, I almost said Sundays. share with you. I just sold your RT. You just sold my, the red lips? Yep. Woo! That's why I was on the phone call. Oh, sweet. Um, you get 20% of that, too. Okay, I'm trying to do drips, but my drips are overweight. Um, they're still Sorry. worthy drips. No judgment on their size, just an observation. So is it like a low profile kind of thing, or do you make it the depth? So I put it in a mold. Mm. All right. If you guys are going to try to do the drips, let me just save you stress, headache, and drama and just... Put a dot and then run a tail off of it with a stick. Because all the tails I tried to do with the that thing are very stringy and not even. I know where that can go. You know, in a doctor's office. In a doctor's or office? Donation. This could go in a donor's doctor's office. I figured you would really like this technique, Tudor, because it's very on brand for you. You can mold it however. Mm -hmm. Whatever you like would do for you. Okay. It's my best attempt at... Um, I don't know if I could call this raindrops. <laughs> Okay. As long as you put it down, facing down that way. Yeah. I think this part over here is a bit empty. I'm going to try to transfer. See, that looks way better than the drops that I just have on here. Boom. I don't know why I didn't just do that for all of them. Where are you? Are you there? That last one? Hmm. So nice. Okay, I'm gonna tell you guys how I did it. Dot and pull up with a this. It looks so much cleaner than with 
the that. And I can do small sizes. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm still going to finish this one out, but y'all don't judge me for it because it's not my favorite. In case you guys are wondering where I'm going when I get up, I'm putting everything in the window for it to sit in the not sun because it's overcast today. All right. What should we do for this one? Start a drop and tilt the surface if it's runny enough. Unfortunately, it's not runny enough. It's very viscous. I feel like that's right, but I'm unsure in the moment. And um, I guess you, I could probably do a drip and then go like, ha, and then see if it, like that. So let's try that and then we'll do an ATD logo. Rain drops fun on my coaster. Oh my goodness, I don't know how this is gonna look. I'm scared, we're gonna do it. I'm gonna space these a little bit apart so that when I do give it a good hi it um, doesn't hit any other drippies or dots. Also, if you're sensitive to resin, wear a respirator with this because even I get headaches when I use UV resin, any kind of UV resin, any brand. Okay. So if I just hold it up, it doesn't flow really. I mean, eventually it probably would as long as it's not in the uh, sun. So not really raindroppy, but not really not raindroppy. Hey, Bubba, you can't come up here. It's not good for big boys. I'm just going to put some other little dots in here. All right, next one we can do the logo. Boop, 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 boop. One more boop. <clears throat> Maybe one more. Okay, I'm done. This green one looks like, like uh, one of those foils that you buy. Mm hmm. Okay. Now, logo in reverse. Oh my goodness, you're right. Okay, yes. Okay. So, when I did the this one, I realized I did not know how to write in Mirror, and Jeff was busy. So I had to get crafty. And so for my crafty era, I use it this. Oh. Okay, Bubba. Uh, Tudor just gave you guys the earthquake. I'm just going to draw it on this way. And I'm not going to connect anything. I'm going to make it kind of rigid because anytime you, dang it, I just broke my own rule. Okay. So that's what we're working with. Don't tell Jeff I did something so hideous. But this is just for figuring it out, right? Doesn't have to be cool. Trying to make sure I'm not going to transfer anything onto this. Ta da! You can see it! Okay, so now that we can see what we're trying to do, we can make it a thing. I'm just going to do it with the stick because we've discovered that I don't have control with the bottle. Don't they have those needles? Yes, you can use a needle nose bottle, but I don't have one. Ready and willing. If 
Why do I get so excited about new techniques like this? I have no idea, but very, very pumped about. like what's possible with it. You would think this would take a long time to do, but it does not. I just want mm, no ma'am. So I'm make sure there's not any low spots. Um, my pups are arguing over a treat. So I apologize if that was loud in someone's ears. I prefer her to bark with a treat in her mouth. It's way less loud. Yeah, it's so funny. She'll play with a treat and bark at him at the same time with it in her mouth. So I'm almost done with the boring part, and then I can show you guys the awesome. Um, I have to say that it was a small stroke of genius on my part to like draw it on the back side of this because I first, my first attempt, like some of the letters were backwards, but most of them were just odd. Woo! Right. I'm going to check on these other ones. They are just about tacky enough. So I'm touching them and it's like I can leave my fingerprint on them. So they're just about ready to go. You don't want it to be too fluid to where when you try to dust on your mica or whatever you're working with that it... Um, your brush picks up some of the sticky and transfers it onto other places on your piece. What's up, Kelly Quincy? I still have your green geode, by the way. Cooking injection needle, ooh. That sounds fun. I do have a needle nose, needle tip, like squirt bottle here somewhere. But I don't know exactly where it is. Also, when you do that, it's going to be a one and done type of um, application. One shot. Could you do something on a, uh, a donut thing? It will, it will just run off on. If you want to put it on something like the donut shape, I would suggest putting a dot out and like light it up as soon as you do it to keep it from running, but it still, it still may run. Okay, this is still tackier than I would like, but it's not transferring onto my fingers, so I'm going to assume that it's good to go. I'm going to use Mistress of Evil to coat this one. And if you've never coated a mold, first time I did this, I was like, I'm about to ruin this mold. That powder is never coming off. But it did. I mean, not on these areas, but that's an easy fix. Just get some tape and stick it everywhere, and it will pick up all of the loose mica and resin and hairs and whatever else may have been left behind. So I just dust around until nothing else is kind of moving. For chameleon, you kind of have to check all angles because if you don't, you may have missed something. And 
that's not fun. Especially not when there's nothing you can do after you pour your resin. So the way you're going to finish this piece to make it look like this is just to fill it with black resin. Since it's black, it doesn't matter if it's a quick coat, an art coat, casting resin. You could fill it with UV resin if you wanted to, but I wouldn't do that actually because it may never cure if you pour it that deep. Nope. Nope. Oh my goodness, like none of these are ready. So I'm just gonna take the geoid. I'm just gonna do this. So for those of you guys who just got here, I'm gonna show you the pieces that we did as just a test. These are all done with chameleon, so they change color. I love color changing chameleon -y anything. This one actually has two different chameleons on it. Thank you, Mr. Coop. Those could be watermelon seeds. Oh my goodness. One of them actually, I'm gonna. Jeff's over there living his best life with watercolor. Uh, this one is not two different colors. This is, um, Bowie, that's hers. Ah, we're almost there. And then, like I said before, you could do different shapes. Or even try your hand at lettering, which you guys just saw me probably fail at, but hopefully it'll work out. Love the shamrock. Kelly, I think you love just anything that's green, I'm pretty sure. That's what I figured out with you over the years that you've been part of the fam. Okay, it's good enough because I'm impatient. Thanks, Toots. So, let's do, I don't know what color we should do. Let's do grumpy because who doesn't like a grumpy geode? Do you cure from the bottom too? So once I take them out of the mold, if they're still tacky, like this one is a little bit tacky, then I'll just set these in the sun to further cure the bottom of it because what's happening is UV resin needs UV light to cure or harden, whereas the regular resin that we use, the art coat, um, needs both parts to harden, where this is one part, it just needs the sun to cure. And that's why mm -hmm. the bottles are black so that sun doesn't get to them. So, She's just following her, so she'll drop that and then just gonna scoop it. Um, so yeah, because I just barely let it um, cure to just enough so it's still tacky for me to add the mica, it isn't all the way cured. So if you pop it out and it's still sticky, just put it under another UV lamp for a little longer or in the sun. Evelyn says, hey, toots. Up, is Jeff doing watercolor? Let's see when he's done. He's just right. experimenting. He's not really doing yeah, a piece. Doing just but it does look fun. Finger. I'll show you guys. Dang fingers. Okay. I think I'm going to do... Grumpy on this part. Oh, I forgot to mention, since I am working on our coasters for this part, um, the mica isn't going to just stick to um, the, the plastic. So what's going to happen is I can spray it with... Um, a spray adhesive and make it sticky and let everything get kind of tacky and then put more color on it, which is probably what I'm going to do. And if you let your resin cure up in the sun way too long and it's not sticky anymore, 
Just use a spray adhesive. So that's where we're at so far. I'm gonna try to just wipe that dust over off. And then I'm going to use a spray adhesive to coat the rest of it, I think. Maybe I'll do this color here as well. So you're just coating it just like you would if you were doing that mold technique. I'm gonna use a different color for, if I had more time, I don't wanna bore you guys with doing too much of the UV stuff, but if I had more time, I would kind of do each row with the UV and then coat it and then spray and then kind of keep going. So each ring is a different color. So I think I'm gonna do the dots in a different color. But I'm gonna need a smaller brush. Please hold. All right, you two. Oh my goodness, I thought that was a puppy I just stepped on, it wasn't. Everybody, it was not a puppy. No, 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 this one will have to work. Don't tell Jeff I just borrowed one of his brushes. It'll be our secret. Okay, so I think I'm gonna use Bad Apple for the <coughs> next ring or the little dippy dots. I could do that, Clara. Um, it is a UV resin. However, you could use hot glue. I could do some Posca lines. Give me one moment. Let me get this fully coated before they cure up all the way. I'm gonna just dust everything off with the same brush. This um, perk is not something you could do with the molds. Once you put a powder on a silicone mold, it's kind of there until you put resin in and pop it off. So, looking good, looking good. This is gonna take way less time to show you the awesome than the mold, because you would have to wait around till the resin would cure. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna just, we're gonna just, we're just gonna go for it. So now I'm trying to find thin Posca pins that aren't um, a funky color. Turns out they're all funky. What is this, blue? I'll take this aqua. All my Posca pens are large, so we're just going to have to deal. Just going to put some gold in there. Bowie is so jealous of the puppy right now because she has a treat that he wants. So if you hear him barking, he's being it's a little like jelly he bean. He, he won't take it from her. But if she drops it, you will Fair game. zip in there and, and jack it from her. So if you add more lines with Posca, make sure you follow the shape that you've already kind of given your piece. I brought out this aqua, but I don't know if it's going to... Oh, if you just give me a minute, I'll get you a new one, okay? Where, where are they at? They're... I never find those things. 
They're on the left side of the treat cabinet, but he's not going to want it because she hasn't chewed on it. So it's not soft enough. This color may not be the best idea. I don't know how long it's going to take to dry. I know, right? Bowie, now's your chance. Zoom in there. Did he snarf it? No, he just really was like, yep. All right, we'll see how good that looks. This pasta is going to take a couple minutes to dry, so in the meantime, we're just going to do a different one. What's up, JJ? I was showing off your, um... yeah. That's good. I was showing off your skateboards that you gave us today. Someone was asking about them. On this one, I'm going to attempt to use one of our glitter flakes. I don't know if I have any more of this mermaid. flake in, but if not, then I can get more. Just let me know if I'm out. In fact, I'll look as soon as this is over. I think this one is called Mermaid Dreams. Could you, use on that? you could use any, any mica, really. You could even just, after you put the uh, UV resin on, you could just paint them in with just regular paint or a pen if you wanted to. The idea is that you're painting on the back side of a dome and that's what's gonna give it the depth that you're seeing on the front side. Fun fact, UV resin. Sorry. Fun fact, these glitter flakes or chameleon pigment flakes don't like to come off of plastic. So I have to like get like aggressive with it to get it to not stick on anymore. I'm using a very rough bristle brush for this. And if you scratch your UV resin, it'll be fine. Just put a little bit more on there. Bowie. Bowie, be sweet. Ma'am, come here. He is like. Bowie, stop being grumpy. It's Canvas, over there. Here. Man. I know. Here you go. Go lay down with that. Bowie, here. Go lay down. Oh, you don't want it now? Do you feel bad? Go check on her. Go see. You want to go to the ASPCA, Bowie? Is Find someone. Can... They'll take you. But you can't spell ASPCA. <laughs> he, um, he's gotten to where he plays with her, but if she's got something that he wants, he turns alpha. Also... The only other time that he's done that with her, he ran over to her and, like, tried to comfort her. He's just learning how to be a big brother. Checking to see if he did any damage and he's going to do some hitting. I have just a little bit that I scraped off, so I'm going to take this fine point one, put it back on. Also, if you're going to try to blow things off of your things, I can't with you two. Then make sure that you 
Don't do it over your mica jar because I've done that and it's not a good time. So I'm taking a piece of tape just to show you that you can also just use tape to pick up any extra mica that you can dust off or scrape off. Just make sure I'm staying in frame because I have no idea. Go back just towards me. Towards me? Yep. You can also use this to get extra mica and whatever out of your molds. Okay, so the next step is a mystery. Oh, there it is. I'm gonna use some black spray paint. Look out. And just sprayed the whole back of it. I'm gonna let that dry. It's it'll dry pretty quickly. This is dry, so I'm going to spray it. And the reason why I'm spraying with black is because chameleon pigments just show up better on a black background. I'm sure there's some kind of science about that, but I, I cannot tell you anything about why it works. So, yeah, Bowie is four. Okay. Clara, it's by Too Faced, but I think I'm out of it. If you give me till, um, no, I have, I have some, but I don't have them in inventory. Yeah. So while these are drying, I guess I'll do this. Uh, yeah, it's tacky. Yep. I'm gonna do grumpy on this one because it's blue. Do you know the colors, like the names and what color they are? Like what I do. I know all the brands, all the names, all the colors. That looks like water dripping. That was the idea. I'll pay you a dollar for that. Salt. Put it in my tip jar. In your what jar? Tip jar. Oh. Boop. 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 <laughs> Both of you are fired. What are you doing over there, Bowie? <laughs> so I'm going to not... Um, Paint the, the one side of this so you can see what it looks like. Hey, Jessica. Yes, ma'am. We are doing bubbles today. Oh, my goodness. That looks so fun on a clear background. Whose mic is that? Uh, it's Too Faced. It's actually my brand of chameleons. You can find it at artiststilldeath.com. I don't even know if you guys can see how cool the... That can be an art piece all on its own. It could. It could be a cool table. You can really see the depth down in them. I don't feel like I can say you can see the depth in the tip. And I feel like that's very after dark language and it doesn't even get dark here till like midnight. Okay, our geoid is almost dry, so I'm gonna go ahead and peel it because I can't wait. Mm. Also these are on our clear coasters, also available at artistilldeath.com. Oh my goodness, I hope this looks cool.
like an Easter joint. It is very Easter eggy, isn't it? If I had more space to where it would have been cleaner, it would have been better. But you can still see the color change in that grumpy because it's domed on the back. Purple and blue. Okay. Let's check out this ATD. It's still shiny in the middle, which means it's still wet spray paint. So I'm not going to just grab it on the back. Mommy, 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 and I'm through. My goodness, I should have done better cleaning up this too, but I was just too impatient to show you guys. You can see my fallout from not cleaning those edges better, but. In person, it doesn't look that bad either. Like, it looks like intentional. Listen, I love it, Chameleon. The fact that you can make it change colors is everything. Okay. Okay, so now we have these drippy drips. Um, Did you mix all of them? So you can mix anything that's white base that's a chameleon, and you can mix anything that's dark base that is a chameleon. You cannot mix them together. For some reason, they just they don't they just don't. you mean you can mix them but not mix them together you can mix the dark ones with other dark ones oh, okay sorry but you can't mix the light ones and the dark ones they just this isn't gonna work out also the great thing about using my clear shapes to do this is that you're not wasting a buttload I say waste but it's not wasting if you're creating art with it. But um, filling a mold, it takes so much more resin than I feel like people understand, give credit for. It's so much. Are you doing the spray adhesive method you mentioned? Did you want me to do the spray adhesive method? Give me a second. I'm going to spray this. If I can find my spray. Found it. If you're using a spray adhesive, make sure you clean the nozzle or else it's going to just and not in a good way. Sorry, I'm not showing you guys um, me spraying the spray adhesive, but I'll show you what the spray adhesive looks like. I mean, I'm, I'm about to spray it in the trash can so it doesn't get my floor sticky. Eh. Okay. Right, so flat from the spray adhesive could be fun. Ooh, it could. Okay, that was genius. I have one more piece I can... No, I can do the splat on the... Mm, what is this? The dragon? You can, do, you can do that on the dragon. Okay, so I'm trying to let this get the tacky, which is immediately. Are you gonna do something special on this? Uh, you can, you can do it. I wonder if you did this on one of the large clear rounds, but did it with glow powders over the lines and paid over it with same color paint. If you could make neon looking lines and letters, you could. Show the clover. What if you vac up all the dust and make one crazy color? If I use my desktop vacuum to clean up all of this, there would be actual glitter in it. Chameleon, chameleon glitter, probably all of the dog hair. 
And I don't even want to know what else. Probably lint, paintbrush hairs, glitter glass. So now that my spray adhesive has gotten tacky, I also just use the something Scotch Bright. What is that? Oh, Scotch Photo Mount is what I used. It's pretty non invasive um, spray adhesive. Super 77 is way more industrial, but I use that a lot. No! I picked up some other glitter and put it on your. Oh well. It will just be a spot of green chameleon on that part. Okay, so on the first layer we did Mother Knows Best. On the second layer or the outside of it we did Grumpy. So now we still have to spray paint it black. And I'm not gonna make you wait because I don't wanna wait. So we're just gonna jump right to it. Ooh, nice. It's a very angry day for whatever kind of rain this is. All of the color flips. So I'm going to have to lay that face down because it's still quite wet. Uh, the Clover Plexi is for sale. Kelly, just shoot me an email. Um, the Clover, it's $10. Are there any other sealing needed for these? So, if you put a couple of good coats of spray paint on the back of this, it should be fine. Um, probably before I let someone use it as a coaster, I will either, uh, no, I'm not gonna coat it with resin. I'll probably coat it with Mod Podge just to make sure everything's sealed in so that these little dots don't pop off. Um, you can also custom cut a cork if you wanna do the cork deal to seal in the back. Um, I probably won't resin them because I can just seal the back end with a Mod Podge. That'll give it enough durability without having to wait for resin to cure and worry about something landing in it. No one's going to really look at the back anyways. It's just for protective purposes. Oh, blank clovers? Yeah, I've got them on the website. Tara, totally know what it looks like. Okay, so I'm going to try to splatter with my photo mount. But I worry that I've already cleaned it off. Where's Jeff's um, paper clip? Nope, clothes clip. Yes. Okay. Tutor, look at this. Jeff taught me how to do this. He used to do this for shirts. You can splatter by just making it go on to this. It like. <clears throat> I've used your stir sticks. But not with. Well, it's like the, uh, the power wash. It, 
It it is a lot like the power wash, but it's more authentic. No, I think both of them are equally authentic. So I was gonna show you guys what I did with the paper clip, but it didn't do anything. It was doing way more than I thought it actually was, but that's how the <laughs> came out. Um, the thing about this is the splatters are not going to dome. Um, and all of the background has a spray of adhesive on it. You can see all those little fine dots everywhere, even smaller than these visible dots. Does look a little bit like snot, we'll call it snot. And so I feel like if I do dust this with chameleon, you're not gonna really be able to tell really what goes on. In any case, that's gonna have to dry a little bit before we can, we can do anything with it. So I'm going to just let that dry and if it's dry to tack by the time I'm done with this piece, then I'll dust it. But if it's not ready by the time I'm done this one, then I'll just have to dust it later. It's a dragon, I'll take it for real. I also have these dragon coasters on my website if anyone is interested. I feel like, okay, so hear me out. If you ever, okay, so have any of you guys done like embossing? I think that if I dusted um, the whole coaster with that embossing, powder stuff. I could keep all the extra dust from sticking in areas that I don't want it to and not have to worry about cleaning the fallout later. But I don't know if that would hinder how the UV resin works. Does that make sense? Could spritz with alcohol inks. You could I don't know if that would really show the dome look because um, uh, alcohol inks are transparent or translucent. I'm not sure about that one. However, I'm sure Clara is already thinking of amazing ideas. She's the dragon lady. I think I'm gonna multicolor this one. And I'm just putting a lot of graduating size dots throughout the piece. I would make them look like scales, but I think I'm going to have to save that for when I have the needle nose applicator. I think. The, the babes are playing, so I think they've made up. So I don't have any real life kids, but I feel like this is like the play before the fight. What should we do on the point of the tail? I don't want to do dots. I want to do something else, but I'm not sure what. I really want to see how much alcohol ink or transparently tinted UV resin can be used for this too. Um, 
I have tinted UV resin with the Color Obsession tints. And as long as you don't make it too opaque, it, it works out just fine. You have to... Hey, B, will you help me out? You have to... Um... Something. I have lost my... My thought. Um, oh yeah, you can't use too much colorant because the way UV resin works is that the light has to penetrate all the way through it in order for it to cure, which is why sometimes when you do the fill a mold technique with this, um, the bottom of your dots are gonna be a little bit tacky still because as soon as it's a little bit tacky, I dusted it with the mica so the sun could no longer penetrate it to cure it. So now that I popped it out, I will lay these in the sun um, to cure the bottom of them. I hope that makes sense. Um, I'll add coasters. What's happening? It's crazy. It looks like from here, it looks like that's in there like it looks like that's actually carved into this oh. I can't see the edge of that that is weird because of the lighting and she's off a space pizza slice that's what I was going for. Crushed it, right? I agree, Mr. Coop, and we were very patient with the pups. You're ripping off monkey's legs now. I mean, she took a leg off the monkey? First toy she's... Two. She just took two off. Destroyed. I mean, the monkey didn't need both legs. Hey. All right, I'm going to start dotting with the, this. I hope it ends up looking... how I want it to. I'm gonna do bigger dots in the middle since we kind of faded out to the smaller ones. Then I'll just fill in. Are there any questions about this process I can answer while I'm doing this busy work? Try not to do these too fast or too close together so that they don't kind of meld themselves, which they will do. He's on a whole nother level today. Um, Maxine, I am using a UV resin that's going to cure up in like five minutes. Yeah, any UV light will cure it. UV light, 
If it glows purple, it'll cure it. Well, it is ultraviolet. Well, it's not ultraviolet. Ultraviolet? I question myself. I feel like one of those people that does. I feel like one of those people that does dots on the rocks. Oh my goodness, that is like the best name. Dots on the rocks for a company that does those like dotted rock things. I'm doing so good by not having those little trails of UV resin. However, I'm not done yet, and I shouldn't have said that so soon. What happened to my half of rain drop one? Your Is it just still over there? It, it's wherever you put it. Yeah. It's like we wanted this to look like. I'm going to do some little fill-ins. You can do way more with this if you have the like fine line needle nose tip, but I don't have one that I know where it is. And so we're doing this. And so I hope y'all are enjoying it, even though it's not super detailed. Hi. It's exactly like an eyeshadow brush. You didn't get me my own fluffy brush like this, so I had to use one of yours. All right, well. Okay, now I'm getting just obsessive with these T-Tiny Dots. So I'm gonna like, just let it live. Okay, no, I'm not. I'm just going to do one more thing. If Moo was still around, 1,000%, she would take his spirit just to annoy him. Those of you that know, no. Woo! All right, now we have our drippy, drippy, this guy. Drippisha? I'm going to borrow this. So I'm making beautiful lines. art. That looks great. Tudor's about to yeah. show me up. No, I'll, I'll do that one. Okay. But your that looks great. Are you cured? Yeah. Oh. It took a minute, so, you can, so I can cure that while you're doing that. Well, do you want to dust it? I'll give you sure. the mic. Yeah. Here you go. Tell them what's up. Let's see. All right, y'all, I am going to Monday tutor takeover, since it's not Tuesday. So, while Erica was over there, I was over here doing this. Let me pan out a little bit. So, I'll just use what she has here for my butterfly. What is this one? Grumpy. I'll do it this way. Did you use this one for both? I did. Okay. Just so that we know staging area. Everyone. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do both of them on this one piece. And dust this. But if we had some compressed air, we could blow up all of the extra dust. Probably. I'm going to try to do this two tone for my very first time. 
show you that if I can do it, Toot can do it. You Toot can do it. Sorry, I'm not looking at the comments. Tutor, that's going to be cool. Thank you, Lisa. I hope I'm projecting enough. Since I am very monotone and a deeper voice than Erica. Just slightly. All right. I think we're almost done. I'll just do this one. If you are just tuning in, I am Tudor, tuning in with Tudor, but also with Erica. Here at ATD Studios in Dallas, Texas. Visit the website, artisttilldeath.com. Let's see those thumbs. How many thumbs do we have? We have 26 and 63 watching. Okay, Bowie. All right, I'm done with this right here. Now I'm gonna go in with Mistress of Evil, which is on the website. Where is it? Right here. You can also purchase my Tudor Twinkle, which is a powder. It is. Ooh, saturated that. You could do this with color UV resin gale. Thank you, Tara. I'm trying to find what Vamp was saying about. There's 30 mi 38. Okay, cool. Two face community. Oh, Clover's on the website. Um, okay, Vamp, <clears throat> as soon as, well, I guess while Tudor's doing this. Hmm. I am done. Gail says, hi, Tudor. What's up, Gail? Oh, the thumbs are going up. Thank you guys for remembering. Also, if you haven't subscribed, hi. You just want to make me cry? <laughs> All righty. I'll switch you, and I will clean this one up, and then I'll spray it, and I'll come right back. Sweet. Here's your, here's your voice back. Oh, my voice. Understood, Mr. Coop. Okay, so we have this guy. Um, I'm going to use these flakes that I'm going to put on the website uh, this evening. Uh, but first, it's one of those things where on your own, yeah, anyone can do it. Basically, come for the um, materials and help in case. It'd be a fun. It's like wine and coasters. Yeah. I did put a spray adhesive on this because I want to kind of. Kahlua and coasters. Put it all over Kahlua and coasters. Nope, I'm gonna end up throwing it if I do this. Mud, mud slide and coasters. <laughs> mud slide and mayhem. I may have put a little bit too much of this on here because it's not drying. <gasps> do we have these colors like this? Um, we do have these colors, but these little flakes in the jar we just got in, so I haven't loaded them on the website, but that will be my first task right after. The live. It's actually helping pretty good. Sorry, y'all. I'm just patching on different colors. And then I'll just burnish them all in together. What is happening? Um, 
These flakes, when we first got them in, not these, all the flakes, when we first got them in, I was like, what am I supposed to do with that? And then I figured it out, and they are so much more vibrant than regular micas. I guess because they're essentially, like, really fine metal flakes. I guess we can throw some of this in there. I love this, this tripod so much better. Ooh, cool. Oh, I can't wait to see what this looks like. Also, if you do do this technique and you're at home and you're not filming and you don't have to talk to people, wear a respirator because this stuff does get in the air. The micas even more so. Listen to your body. Take care of you. And don't give me a lecture because I'm not wearing a respirator. Thanks. Please and thank you. All right. Now I'm just doing an all over dust. Make sure I didn't forget anything. That thing's a little thin. Yeah, y'all. Well, thank you. Gail, thank you so much. Party sound for Gail. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to see how this turns out. This looks like Mardi Gras was a dragon. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to feel your thing thing? Yeah, I'm using Bowie's fan. Oh. So, in the meantime, I'm going to put a lid on these so that I don't break things. Word. You gonna peel that? It's right here. Oh well, then no. What percent am I at? I I only have to peel two more. Yeah, but I only have to peel two more of them, so I don't have an extension cord. Do you need an exacto blade or a this? I tried that, but oh. I use I just use another one. Just hit it. Yeah, but when the just back is still frayed. Yeah. Can't believe how quick you're rolling these out, right? Where are all the heat guns at? We packed them up for the class. They're in the wagon. Ooh. Wow. Oh my goodness. It looks like that. That inlay stuff for like, uh, like Asian dressers, like Oriental looking mm -hmm. dressers. Can you say that? I think so. I mean, they are. It is a uh, look. Sorry. Canvas. Canvas. What? Out of everything, of all the stuff. Well, you were using the tripod, so I was just going to chew on it. The a menace in South Central. That looks so rad, Tudor. You want to switch? Yeah. <gasps> mommy, 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 mommy. How fun. 
is that I may have gone just two extra doing three colors, but. Look at that. You're like me, baby. Just can't even wait. Oh, I can't. And also my phone's going to die. That looks so awesome. Wow. But I, ooh, that oh. actually turned out better than I thought it would, these little. Anyways. Look how much fun that I is. See the, I see Rhonda doing this to her, her next shower. Right, oh I can see gosh. Rhonda doing this to her next shower as well. Is it cheetah print that you can do it with? Mm-hmm, but I bet I could do cheetah and leopard. Leopard? Oh my goodness.